150 days, 150 psalms, one verse from each psalm daily. Welcome to the place where you learn the Bible. I hope you are all doing well. Greetings to you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even today, we are going to meditate Psalm 34. Psalm 34 and the version that I have chosen for today's meditation is verse number 17. Psalm 34 and verse number 17. It says like this, The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their trouble. The righteous cry, the Lord hears them and delivers them. Uh, from all delivers them out from all their troubles you know uh, this is a psalm of uh, individual thanksgiving this sees the lord as a provider this sees the lord as a uh, as a deliverer and uh, there are so many well-known verses in the psalm that i was uh, very much confused on which verse to choose for example starting from verse one i'll bless the lord at all times his praise will be continually on my lips and look at verse number four i saw the lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears and then look at verse five they who looked at looked up to him their faces became radiant and they were never put to shame and verse seven the angel of the lord encamps around those who fear him so these are these are all some of the verses that i that I memorized them and even verse 10 the young lions do lack and suffer hunger but those who seek the Lord shall seek no good thing so uh, there are so many beautiful verses um, in this particular psalm including even uh, um, even a verse that is po that, is, that points towards Christ so this can be even partly a messianic psalm verse number 20 uh, it says like this he keeps all his bones not uh, one of them is broken which directly uh, points towards Christ uh, because uh, this is one of the this is one of the prophecies that came about Christ when we read John chapter 19 uh, verse number 33 and verse number 36 so uh, this is a psalm of individual thanksgiving which sees Lord as a provider and uh, and as a deliverer so uh, the verse that we have chosen today is a righteous cry the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles uh, the righteous cry out to God and the Lord delivers them and I want to compare this particular verse to verse number 10 which talks about the young lions do lack and suffer hunger uh, but those who seek the Lord shall lack uh, no good thing and I want to again connect this verse to verse number 6 which says the poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles uh, verse 6 and verse 17 talks about the people who cry out to God, whether a simple uh, poor man or it is a simple righteous man, when they cry out to God, the Lord hears them and the Lord delivers them out of all their troubles. And I want to compare this poor or this righteous man to the young lions which do lack something. The poor man lacked something. He cried out to God and the Lord heard him. The righteous lacked something. They cried out to God and the Lord hear them and the young lions they also do lack they also suffer and in fact when we read the other verses from different different from the uh, other psalm of the Bible God even cares for the beast but here I want to come I want to take the word the young lion the young lion uh, think of a lion who is really young what does it what does it symbolize it symbolizes the fierceness it symbolizes the strength, how strong the lion is. It symbolizes the swiftness. It symbolizes how it is able uh, to pounce on their prey. In other words, here when the psalmist uses the word young lion, it talks about, I believe, it talks about men who are fierce, who are swift, who are strong, who are able to pounce on their prey. In other words, it reminds us about the immoral and the crafty men of the world who take advantage of the weak and the simple. The so-called powerful men, the so-called influential people, the so-called the great men of the world. The Bible says even such mighty men will suffer lack, will suffer lack, will suffer hunger. You know, uh, the, the message version says like this, the young lions on the prowl, even they get hungry. The lions, the NIV says, the lions may grow weak and hungry. Young lions may even go hungry and even starve. 
those so called powerful people the so called who people who think that they can do anything and everything even they might suffer lack even they might even they might suffer a loss but those who seek the lord shall lack no good thing but today i want to tell you when we look at the wicked men we look at the evil men it seems we we sometimes uh, uh lament like prophet habakkuk how long o lord that the riches are perishing and the wicked man is thriving this was a lament of even david in many psalms the psalm is one of some of the major uh, themes of many psalms is this the righteous are perishing while the wicked are thriving god says even those young lions even they may suffer lack and hunger even they may suffer starvation even those on the great prowl may get hungry even their hunt may come to nothing but if you seek the lord whether you are poor or whether you are rich whether you are uh, whether you have nothing in your home or whether you have everything at your home if you seek the lord you shall not lack any good thing but those who seek the lord the righteous will be heard those who seek the lord the lord will hear them you know and uh, and this psalm comes to an end like this in verse 21 and 22 it talk it contrasts the those wicked men and the righteous men look at verse 21 evil will slay the wicked <laughs> evil will slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous will be condemned and then in verse 22 it says the lord redeems the soul of his servants and none of those who take refuge in him will be condemned therefore those who are in christ jesus shall not be condemned that's what romans 8 1 states and here that's what the same says none of them who take refuge in him shall be condemned today god is calling us not just to live a righteous life but also a life that is not like those young lions who are on the prowl but to watch on the lord and wait on the lord verse 12 and verse 13 of this psalm it's a wonderful psalm that's why i'm quoting so many verses just from this one psalm verse 12 and verse 13 is going to be my last verse it says like this who is man who desires life no do you desire life do you want to live long you know i made a very strange prayer god blessed me with blessed us with two kids when i was 33 years old i asked god lord give me another 33 years if the word if your delay if your coming is going to be delayed so that i can i can see my kids growing and and if if willing if god willing i can even see their kids and enjoy and this verse says who is man who desires life and then it says and loves length of days that he may see good and verse thirteen gives an answer to that question keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit do you want to have long life do you want to live for god for a very long time just two things be righteous be righteous be righteous nothing else be holy before god tongue from speaking evil lips from speaking deceit in other words live a life that is pleasing to god not like those young lions on the prowl the poor man called the righteous cry the lord hears him and delivers them out of all their troubles all every trouble but cry out to god live a righteous life stay blessed in jesus name amen amen